Now, next week, there is a lot of hype uh, surrounding uh, the total eclipse that's taking place on Monday. There's one group, however, who will not be participating. This is pretty interesting, interesting to learn, interesting to find out. Uh, the Native American culture holds the total solar eclipse in high reverence. However, there's a different approach to it all. I want to introduce you right now to Debbie Nez Manuel from the Morning Star Leaders Organization, as well as Freddie Johnson, a Navajo cultural educator, and explain what's supposed to happen in the Native American culture with regard to the solar eclipse. Well, one of the things that's really important to know is that there are 22 federally recognized tribes in Arizona, and out of these tribes is Navajo Nation, and they are considered to be the largest tribe across the country, and especially in Arizona. So in Arizona, we think about the, um, the school districts that are here. There are 58 school districts. And in these school districts, we attract people from around the globe. And when they're from coming from around the globe, including um, tribes here in Arizona, they'll come here because of lack of employment and different reasons. So there's a high, higher prevalence of Navajo students who are attending school districts. Mesa Public School is one of them. And as we're, uh, as educators are meeting with students, we really want them to be mindful of certain teachings that are really important to tribes. And so as an organiz as Morningstar leaders, we're the organization that helps to ensure that our cultural educators are there. They're the subject experts. And we create those opportunities so that they're working with our youth. Let, let's talk about that because I don't want to lose this mm -hmm. information. It's important to know how does the Native American culture hold uh, the solar eclipse in reverence? The solar eclipse, um, it, it's e any eclipse that we have, either it's a lunar or solar eclipse, it's a very, very sacred event that it's a very powerful thing to view. So because of that, we tell our children and our people not to be in the presence of that eclipse or to even um, take a snake or be outside because there are many different um, things that, that we cannot do during an eclipse. So because it's a very sacred event and it's very powerful, it does have its repercussions and it can affect the person um, either health-wise or mentally and it can happen down the road, maybe a few years um, on down the road it can affect them. You explained to me uh, as this is in, in your culture a replenishing of the earth, uh, the moon, and uh, the sun. Yes, um, it's a rejuvenation, a renewal of, uh, like you mentioned, the earth, the sun, the moon. And they say that's a very sacred event there and they rejuvenate them. As our elders have said in the past, this is a time when everything realigns and they're getting ready for the next part of the season, which is fall. So uh, in that sense, there's a very special um, communication between the earth, uh, the sun and the moon, the universe. Mm -hmm. Well, this is yeah. great information. And I know they had mentioned, especially for educators out there, who have classes participating in this event on Monday. It's important to know that the Native American culture holds this in a different regard. So if those students don't participate, yeah. we thank you very much for sharing this information and glad that we could get it out. Gina? This picture.